Hello friends, this video on triangle and its properties part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now let us talk about something more interesting. Let's say that it's your birthday and this time for your birthday your mom ordered a birth your birthday cake which is a chocolate cake and which is triangular in shape. Something like this. So a triangular chocolate cake for your birthday this time. Now your mom gave you a task that you have to divide this cake into six equal pieces. Five for your friends who have, who have been invited for your birthday and one for yourself. So you have to divide this cake into five equal slices. So how do you divide this cake? So six equal slices you want. So let's say, so let's say that what you do is you take this cake and you divide it somewhat like this. So how many pieces you have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So this is how you divide it into 6 equal pieces. Now do you know what are these lines? What are these lines which divide this triangle into 6 equal triangles? Because you see each shape is again, each piece is also a triangle. If you look at piece number 2, it is a triangle like this. If you look at piece number one, that is again a triangle like this. Piece number three is a triangle like this. Similarly, piece number four is a triangle like this and so on. So each of the pieces of cake is also a triangle. So do you know what are these lines called which divide a triangle into six equal triangles again? So these lines are nothing but medians. So they are called medians and we are going to discuss about medians here. So what exactly is a median? It is a line segment joining a vertex of a triangle to the midpoint of opposite side. Let's say this is a triangle ABC. So any line which joins a vertex, let's say the vertex A. So the line joining vertex A and the midpoint of the opposite side. Which bit with the opposite side for vertex A? Definitely this side. So BC is the opposite side for vertex A. Midpoint of BC is let's say 8. So any line segment that joins A with D is called a median. And what does a median do? This median, this once you draw this line segment or once you draw this median, it actually divides the triangle into two equal triangles. So earlier you just had one triangle ABC. Right? So initially you had one triangle that is triangle ABC. Now with the help of one median, you have been able to divide this triangle into two equal triangles that is angle ADB and triangle ADC. Now when I say two equal triangles, what I mean is the area of these two triangles are equal. That is this area is equal to this area. So this entire area occupied by triangle ADB is equal to this total area occupied by triangle ADC. Now looking at this concept of median, can you tell me maximum how many medians can be present in a triangle? Now how many vertices do we have in a triangle? We have three vertices. We cannot have more than three vertices in a triangle. Now every median has to start from a vertex. Right? So for example, one median can be drawn from point A. Similarly, one median can be drawn from the vertex B. Another median can be drawn from vertex C. Therefore, a total of three medians can be drawn in a triangle as you can see here. So AD, let's call this E, let's call this F. Therefore, we can say that AD, BE and CF, these are the medians for this triangle. So these are different medians for the different vertices. Now once you draw all the three medians, you actually end up dividing the triangle ABC into six triangles of equal area because the area of triangle A, let, if, if we call this point as O, then we find that the area of triangle AOE, that is this triangle, is equal to the area of this triangle, which is equal to the area of this triangle and so on. So all the six triangles 
are of equal areas. So now you understand how the cake was divided. So in order to divide the triangular cake, three medians were drawn and those three medians ensured that the triangular cake was divided into six triangular pieces, each of equal area. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.